Okay, Speaker of Parliament, now Right Honorable Aban Sumana Kingsford Bagby. Now, yes, somebody can tell me about the idea of the in Chirimuni saying, You come in, that's it. I mean, share with you for an annual pay. That's Kwame, I'm saying, now to shame on the union of your own, and your course where you're not sure about your fee, uh, and bra, yeah. The dissolution of the seventh parliament, a course, so now the eighth parliament was sworn in. Now, the early hours of uh, the seventh, no, now you dissolve the parliament. Now, the first thing, uh, a course, so uh, yeah, the, the election of a speaker of parliament and his deputies to preside over the, the house for that session, and he and no, and now. Of course, most importantly, uh, yes, the, the snatching of ballot papers by Yura Carlos Ahinkra. Uh, in fact, they are there. A serious offense by okay, in criminal court, more eh, an offense punishable by conviction. Say that to a banner, yeah, yeah, kind, yeah, not a yeah, kind. Now, could go ballot paper and I say, oh, call interfere with the counting and I say, oh, be to an amobina and a brand new boy, bra. Yeah, an offense that is punishable by conviction. In T, the machine, no more say. Uh, based on parliamentary immunities, now you are calling for the arrest of Yera Carlos Ahimkra because of the parliamentary immunities and procedures. But you best. Now, Mr. Thompson. Yes, correct. If you don't know here, you be say offer suggestion, be say any American single or no one out. You be being sure in the course of election, no. We must put me pay your ballot box and say you are paying. Mamu ni say no. We must call near the about three times. You be boot two booth now. We must show you how to train. No, me a dear. You should bundle all of them out. Up, say Bibi Owa. You have informed me that you are not going to say. Kwame, you have informed me that I am bomb as one. I will say, I will say, you separate them. No, we are more more interfere with the voting. No, and no, you said the Carlos there no yet can. You know, no more. I will say, you set up one parliamentary committee to investigate those issues, the interference with the voting. And the interference with the counting. I would say, you have a committee, no, yet a parliamentary committee, yeah, or you move, she should move. But, Kwame, eh, the snatching of ballots to personal was the most serious offense. It is a bundle in a boma, will be missing the, the, the real issues. Um, in mm. you know, the issues with the Hank Parliament and the controversies are now it, it was difficult. It was going to be a difficult night. In fact, in you know, yeah, predicted that there was going to be a lot of drama in the house. We just didn't anticipate say it would be this physical. But you know, um, the at, the, at long last, peace prevailed. Um, when you know, get to leaders no call conclave, they could take a decision. Everybody say same. Everybody and they did that. And they did that. And see, that was the closing part of the whole debacle. And now, your county ballot is you. Now, you vote on one side. Now, a member of parliament in the chamber, in fact, we're denigrated chamber now, in the chamber, in front of 
live TV cameras. It's me a call conductor and also a idea. In fact, it is punishable by conviction and we expect that the law will take its course in, in the short of this matter. Any idea? What we have done is that we have, we have, we have, um, what do we call institutionalized the snatching and destabilizing of of electoral counting and in future no mainstream will be back now you talk about baby don't support kafra no because it's a bit poor you can't hold the person responsible so said yeah uh yeah to have a baby will be pushing ballot box at family or three months in prison now or we'll spread a lot to work accordingly in this uh respect as well then the other issue uh, yeah, the military is ah, uh, uh, in the Thompson, yeah, any uh, purpose of the view, the parliament as an institution, no, I will quite of us to deal with such issues as and when they arise. In T, Yen Yan Mamma, Jebe Ganwana, one more and Kamasem, now a section, one more crowd, or quite of us, so action one more members are so those who misconduct themselves in such ways. No, near that day. It's a no, it's saying, Kwame, exactly. Sentina, Yan Casabon are going to soon in and investigate. Yes, a parliament, Nan Casante committee, no muni mushimo. But the committee must work in cognizance with the constitution of Ghana, which is supreme. Parliament may have its own standing orders, but the constitution of the republic is supreme. It is the parliament standing orders say, Oh, Yaman and Copra, baby, and answer Yaman and Cotiesque, and answer Yankee privilege and freedom, sir. The constitution of Ghana say it is an offense. Punishable by conviction. And to expect that the constitution of Ghana will be supreme in this instance. Just like, sir, we'll be put here, we'll be box, and right here, too many elections are Nipano or that reason, Samuel, you know, and in fact, we'll come put it, we'll say, Parliament claiming, sir, we're here on the floor of Parliament. You see, an even bigger offense than, than, sir, yeah, to about the ABS and the whole ballot box. So we will expect the law to work accordingly. And here, Barco. Then the military invasion, Kwame. In fact, it was the most bizarre thing ever. And then a year for no intervention. It sounds like there was chaos. Kwame, the, Kwame, mm. the military has absolutely no right to intervene in a parliamentary proceeding. Okay. They have absolutely no powers. Kwame, what happened that day was a coup d'etat. Kwame, Unim, what made it so serious? Ne, sir? Unim, sir, at the time, uh, military invaded parliament, you know. We didn't have a president. Mm-hmm. The first time I a coup fado, the term, the first time I ended, and I didn't swear in. So Ghana didn't have a, a president. We didn't have a vice president. Mm-hmm. But I, who can we almost can say the intent was not to conspicuously uh, stage a coup. Kwame, it is not the intent. What we are looking at here, and they say. Parliament, the, the seventh parliament has been dissolved. The executive arm of government has been dissolved. And what was happening at the time, we had a constitutional vacuum. The only person, the highest person of the country, of the land at that time, was the Chief Justice. And to come up, over here, a man military, you know, every chamber, quickly, the Chief Justice has to be whisked away. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because Vice President, so President, you know, a Vice President now. Vice President, you know, a Speaker of Parliament now. But that time, you know, Speaker of Parliament now, and one year to hear, you know, into any Speaker of Parliament, into the next person who was in charge of the country automatically was the Chief Justice. And the Chief Justice was in that room, in the chamber, overseeing the election of the Speaker of Parliament. And no, because so our military, that was a coup d'etat. Mm. There was a coup d'etat. But I said, one for one more, I must say, one more message the coup, but to but, maintain the law and all that. Yeah, Go and read the laws, the, the standing orders of parliament. Absolutely, there's no way, there's no way the military should even step a foot in the chamber, not in any circumstance. Parliament has a marshal. The, the marshals in the house are in charge of security. We have a police station in, in inside Parliament House. If there is any problem, these two people will have to work together to resolve it. But for the for them 
wielding military men to evade the chamber of parliament at a time where we did not have a president, we did not have a vice president, we did not have a speaker of parliament, and the chief justice who was automatically in charge of the country overseeing the election of the speaker was also in that room amounts to coup d'etat. And that issue must be investigated thoroughly, and the people who are responsible must be dealt in accordance with law. This is, this is a treasonable offense, and they must be dealt with. That is the other issue. Kwame, you are too too about the you know, you are too thin, simply with the fact you are Gabi Asayo Chiridako. He's been very profound in this instance. And my, one of the key issues I always say, oh, Alban Bagben there, eh, on your political G, and your NBC for Juma and Obaba in your parliament, now on your political or a very neutral G, he will be objective. And he's not supposed to do uh, the bidding of the NDC. I Kwame, think. Mm -hmm. eh, expect to say, you are Alban Bagben, Ebe ye party be a Juma. And in fact, you, if there was anybody uh, or Seno Fata, or what experience, the knowledge, and the act of parliamentary procedure on his fingertips to preside over this eighth parliament that I no other than urban things for back then. But Emra at the NDC did the nomination too, Jano. The NPP also nominated somebody to contest him, which means they did not agree that he should preside over the house because the Kaunu Kwa nominating and Kadoda will be no need for elections. So, and I'm my nominee to be a Nipana corner, Mako Tuaban and Nipan and Lusu. After they will say Nipano, but you know, be neutral, and a Uncle Pushi, John Mahama agenda of parliament, Uncle Pushi, NDC agenda of parliament. Nobody is expecting Alban Bagbin to push NDC agenda. What Alban Bagbin is going to do is to push the Ghanaian agenda. And if you are pushing the Ghanaian agenda, Deals like a Japa cannot come to parliament and be passed. A very innovative deal cannot come to parliament and be passed. PBS and the rest cannot come to parliament. I'd say the, the speaker need it to me. Maybe it's one they put it on vote. No, come and make a say with the current speaker, okay, and the composition, which is the strength of the NDC in parliament. You cannot bring these things and it will be passed. Mm -hmm. What you say? Uh huh. And come a bit be kind. In fact, I criticized era Mike Okwe, any president to go for the recently. Come Okai Emra, he dissolved the seventh parliament. Oman Penny command the state of the nation address. And during the state of the nation address, a board parliament ambassador said the seventh parliament was the best parliament in the fourth republic. And his basis was saying, Oman parliament are Oman passing a number of bills. A number of bills. Over 130 bills from the core parliament, yeah, parliament to me are passing. Are they changing? Yeah? Even Michael Quay, so sir, all man, the final address and the closing remarks on the seventh parliament, or also, so a cancer, I said, parliament to hear the best because all my party has more bills than any parliament in the fourth republic. Kwame, we do not measure the performance of parliament by the number of bills they pass. That is not the benchmark for measuring the performance of parliament of course you said the core duty of parliament is legislation but the principal responsibility of parliament a hey, oversight oversight over the other arms of government and no and the parliament who here and will be able to my but how do you watch over the other arms of government to ensure what we call the balance of power so that the other arms do not abuse the powers given to them. And it's a parliament here, a place where you have representatives of the people. The Obi organ a beer representative of my BJC. Or when they say, to me, the other arms will not be abused. It is her oversight responsibility, the idea, a hunting up, it was a rather draw our parliament. Now you have to deal with the Japan, we are married of it, we now by parliament, now you pass here. You cannot tell me this parliament is the best parliament. This parliament did not do the due diligence. This parliament, the seventh parliament, was a rubber stamp parliament for the executive. Executive in the they get their way through. But this time around, we have a parliament that is going to resort to its original responsibility of oversight. 
ah e no won ti mi fa this which say japan ko na yen kwa ye 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 na yen fa matu yitri so it won't happen what you say e no ti na ye wa gabi o trade akumo se bi omenia bre se eh backbin on ko ye the friend the ndc agenda or whoever agenda or more but that is not the com- that is not even the conversation we should be having the conversation we should be having is what a speaker back then is going to push the national agenda he is going to act in the interest of the people of ghana and ensure that there is a clear balance of power in this tenure in this second term of president Kufado, unlike the first term and mm-hmm. i have absolutely no doubt in my mind that speaker abandagbin will do a diligent job Okay, Madam Sano Bay. Come in, Mister Madam Wasi. Yes, sir. I see you, Mr. Thompson, aye, Executive Secretary. Dima Asipa, the NAK Komono. Okay, FM. Okay. One zero one point seven seven.